In this video, we're going to take a look at an introduction to matrices. Now, the first question to answer here when we're taking a look at matrices is simply, what is a matrix or matrices? Well, a matrix, or if you have more than one matrices, is simply a rectangular array or a table of numbers, symbols, expressions, could be algebra, for example. So all the examples that are featured today in this video are numbers only, but you'll see in a few future videos where we do use algebra. Okay, so be aware of that. It doesn't have to be just numbers. Now, when we give a matrix, we arrange this by rows and columns. And the general form that we use here is an M by N matrix. So the M here represents the number of rows. And the N represents the number of columns. Okay. So remember, rows first, then columns. Okay. Now we've got three examples on the screen here that we're going to work through together and on the next slide two examples or two problems for you to have a go at yourself. So if we start with this first example here, remember we just start by counting the number of rows. So I've got one, two rows, so we've got two rows and now we count the number of columns. Well I've got one, two, three columns, so this is a two by three matrix. For the next example again start by counting the number of rows. We've got one, two, three rows here. And then we've got, in this case, nice and straightforward, just simply one column. So this is a three by one matrix. And then for the final example here, again, start by counting the rows. So we've got one, two rows. And now we count the number of columns. Well, I've got one, two columns. So this is a two by two matrix. And this last matrix here is actually special for two reasons. You might be familiar with this already, depending on how much you've done in class already. Um, but the reasons why is because one, this is a square matrix. And the second reason why is because this is the two by two identity matrix. So don't worry if you're not familiar with these kind of matrices yet. We're gonna cover that in more detail in the next video. So we've just covered three examples together. Now it's time for you to have a go at a couple of practice questions yourself. As always, pause the video now. All we wanna do here simply is um, identify the dimensions of the matrix B and the matrix Q. And just a quick point here. You might have noticed already that we've given the matrices here, so the matrix B and then the matrix Q, noticing that both of these are in bold and the both capital letters. Okay, so this is common. You'll see this in past papers, um, textbooks, stuff like that. So that's generally how we denote a matrix. Okay, so have a go now at seeing if we can identify the dimensions of the matrix B and the matrix Q. So hopefully you got an okay with this. Let's take a look together now at what you should have got here. So for the matrix B, remember all we do is we start by counting the number of rows. So it's quite repetitive, but at this point you should hopefully be quite confident with this by now. So starting with the number of rows, I've got one, two, three rows. So we've got three rows. And now we count the number of columns. So I've got one, two, three columns. So this is a three by three matrix. Again, if you're familiar with this, you'll identify this is another square matrix. So that's what you should have got for the matrix B. That's our dimensions. Now let's take a look at the matrix Q here. So again, starting by counting the number of rows. So I've got one, two, three rows. So this is three rows. And then we need the number of columns. Well, in this case, we've got one, two columns. So this is a three by two matrix there. Okay. And that's what we should have got for the dimensions for the matrix Q. So that brings us to the end of this video, essentially. Um, I don't want you to think this is quite basic um, and you don't really need to be able to do this. This is an important skill and you'll see why when we take a look at adding and subtracting matrices and when we look at multiplying matrices. It is really important that you can identify the dimensions of a matrix. So don't ignore this. Do make sure this is something that you're confident with. Okay. But like I said, in the next video, we're going to take a look at a few special types of matrices uh, in a bit more detail. So thanks for watching.